Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be putting away some photo cards that I've accumulated for quite some time now, actually. Um, I have these all split up by binder. These are all photo cards that I need to sell. Um, but then I have a scoops binder, 17 binder, twice, Monster X, Red Velvet, and Luna, and then over here, all other girl groups and boy groups that I collect. You'll notice that I have two separate piles for 17. I did end up splitting my binder up into two separate binders. So now I have one for all of Escoops' photo cards and then another one for the remaining 12 members. So but yeah, with that being said, um, let's just jump right into it. I'm going to start with boy groups and girl groups and I'll be sleeving these as I go. Okay, here is my random girl groups and boy groups collection binder. I did also make new cover sheets for all of my binders, so they now all have a nicely made <laughs> cover sheet um, that's very consistent amongst all of them, so that's really satisfying, but let's just jump right into it. Okay, so we're going to start with Itzy. I did get their latest album, Guess Who? And these were my pools. Okay, so that's this page. Um, these are all these are just all my pools from all their releases. So it's actually pretty nice that it ended up being Yeji Yeji, a row of Leah, and then Trujan Trujan, and then two <laughs> two units. Um, I do have one unit with Yuna, um, but I have yet to pull a Young photo card, and she's one of my biases. So hopefully, I'll pull her in the next comeback. <laughs> Next, I made some space down here for weekly, so these were my two pools. And I used to have some fillers down there for Hiena's uh, album, but it is out of stock everywhere and I can't find it. It hasn't come back in stock yet, so I just moved those fillers to the back and then I'll rearrange stuff once I can eventually find it. But for now, we're just going to put weekly in here. And then on this page, I created a new page for Sejong and Gugudan. I did get Sejong's second mini album. There we go. I think that's it for girl groups. I'm just gonna skip ahead to boy groups. I got two of EXO's earlier releases and I pulled 10 in both of them. <laughs> okay, and then I believe I made a page here for Shiny and New East. I got Shiny's Repack Atlantis and then I also got New East's um, latest release Romanticize. I saw it in Barnes and Nobles and I really like their, their comeback so decided to get it. All right, 
that was a bit of a struggle but i bought some more nine pocket sleeves um which these are the ones that i use always been using but i bought some new packs and for some reason they came like really squished together like not squished together but like very staticky i guess in a sense so like when you try to like slip photo cards into a sleeve into a pocket it's really difficult but anyway you might see me struggling a little bit in other binders as well but anyway um i did leave space here for ace because i did get butterfly fantasy And that's it for this binder, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my Monster X Red Velvet and Luna binder next. Okay, so here's the next binder. As you can see, all of the cover pages coordinate. And I did get the other version of Clan Part Clan 2.5 Part 1 that I was missing, and I pulled Shonu. And I also got the other two versions of Beautiful that I was missing. And I pulled the group on both of them. <laughs> I don't know if it's a second press thing where all second press albums come with the group card or your chances are just higher to pull a group card for a second press album. But I'm pretty sure, I mean, I'm not pretty sure. I know for a fact that this, um, the Beautiful version that I bought was also second press or third or fourth. Like it. I did not buy this when it was first released, so I don't know. I pulled Kihyun, but I pulled the group for these two, so I have no clue if that's just a thing now or not. And then, by the way, you will probably notice that I have set up to collect Juhan from... I, I marked, well... Fully, I'm going to collect Juhan fully from... We are here on, and then I'll probably start moving my way back. Um, and the reason I started with we are here instead of are you there is because I already had quite a few Juhan photo cards for uh, we are here. So it just made sense to start from there and then work my way back to probably fully collect him. But um, I did pull him in another copy of Are You There that I bought. So that's really exciting. <laughs> that's one card less. So that's that for now. And then in that album, I also pulled this unit, which is so adorable. And then moving forward to follow my sister and I finally sent each other the things that we've been meaning to trade for a while now. So I have Ki Hyun's M ID card. And this is super exciting because these were all my album pools. I only own one copy of each follow album version. And I pulled all of these. <laughs> Which is so crazy. And then my sister bought version 2 and pulled him as well. So, ugh, this was so satisfying. Not intentional, but here is Changkyun's full follow photo card set. And then I think the last thing for Monster X is a lenticular from Fatal Love. So, my sister pulled... Kihyun twice. And then I think I pulled Minhyuk twice, so we just traded. Then for Red Velvet, I saw the guidebook version of Red Festival Day 1 in FYE, and I couldn't resist. And I pulled Joy, which is so nice because I always pull... Irene and Wendy, and I mean, Irene is my bias, so I obviously don't mind pulling her a lot, but it's nice to have some variety every once in a while. <laughs> so, 
I've only ever pulled one Yeti. And the only Korean, uh, the only red velvet photo card of Sugi I have is this one. I pulled one of hers for Monster, but that doesn't really count as a OT5 comeback, obviously. And then I bought um, Sappy with this photo card, so I knew I was getting it. Anyway, moving forward to Luna. Um, I got Chu and Olivia Hayes single albums. Alright, that fills in the spot of where Hasu's photo cards would have been if she had been part of the season's greetings, but yeah. I'll probably rearrange these once Luna has another comeback and I end up putting these five on a separate page with that. And then make some sort of filler for it to be apparent that this is season's greetings. Anyway, that's it for this binder. Moving on to twice. Here's my twice binder. I actually do not have a lot of twice photo cards to put away this time around, but... I did get Sana's um, photo book, and I got Mina's as well, but Mina's uh, was a re-release, so it didn't come with any photo cards. But I do have Sana's photo book photo cards, and then I decided that I wanted this to be a three-card layout rather than a two-card layout because it just, there's no good way of setting two photo cards on one page. So I'm, I have an extra one of the more and more more card so i'm just going to put that in the middle and they're all holographic and they all have like really light concepts so i i think it's a really good fit i think what i'm going to do is um, only get my top threes photo books. So I have Sana's, I have Mina's, um, which unfortunately, like I said, did not come with the photo cards, but I'll probably end up pre-ordering Nyon's whenever she does hers. So then this will become a five card layout and that will feel a little better than just three cards on a photo, on a, on a page. Actually, I could also just try and find Mina's photo cards on Mercari Japan. Actually, I'll probably do that and then have this be a five card layout. Anyway, a seven card layout. Anyway, moving on. Um, like with Monster X, the only photo cards I really have to put away are trades that I did with my sister because we had dupes or something like that. So I have this Chewy for Summer Nights. And I actually had made fillers for the twice photo cards that my sister was going to give me that we were going to trade and I basically got all of them wrong my memory is terrible <laughs> uh, moving forward to fancy this is the only filler I got correct but it is Taeyong with the fancy I don't know what that is but yeah and then for feel special Definitely got this one really wrong. So the, I keep calling this a black border, but it's actually a brown border. The black or brown border that my sister was gonna give me is actually Daihyun, not Chewy. Regardless, it fills this page out nicely. And then the other photo card, I actually didn't realize that there was another photo card that she was going to send me. So um, it's actually this Chewy Glitter Border, which broke my seven card layout to be an eight card layout. And as you'll know, I hate that. So I'm just going to get one more and fill out this page or figure something out so that the page at the front becomes a seven card layout. And then I just have, I don't know how many pages, four or five, five pages that are have seven cards on each one. But that's just my own logistics. And, but anyway, that is actually it for this binder. We are going to start with Scoops, since I don't really have a lot to put away for him. And this binder now has so much more space, which I'm happy to have it like this. I prefer it. It just gives me space to grow, and it doesn't feel like the binder is too bulked up. Um, but yeah, 
don't have anything for his Korean album photo cards, but I do have one Japanese photo card. Actually, two. So I have his version B of 24 hours, and then I did pull his M card as well. So. All right, that was very helpful. I'm very happy that I pulled this and now don't have to buy it. Um, and then the only other photo card I need to put away is actually not a photo card. It is his 2020 Seasons Greetings ID card, which I did put this away in another video, but um, I made a template for it now, um, a little filler. So I'm just gonna put this back in. But it now has a nice little filler so that it doesn't it's not just this tiny id card and then a bunch of white space around it i don't really like how that looks so that's it for scoops okay so for the rest of this video we're just going to be putting away photo cards for all other members which um 99 of it is going to be incomplete merch trading card sets <laughs> But I do have a new page at the front, which I'm going to be using as like a cover page. And that is because I did buy um, some fan-made June photo cards for Silent Boarding Gate. They are here. So I believe the username is Abkaritsen. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Um, but she is here on YouTube and she made these fan-made photo cards of June for Silent Boarding Gate. The back just has the album artwork and these are so beautiful. I showed them in uh, my mini collective haul but they're just so beautiful and I really wanted some Silent Boring Gate photo cards from June so um, I went ahead and joined her group order for them on Instagram and yeah I'm just going to use this first page for fan made goods um, that I really really like. And that way I have a nice little cover page for this OT12 binder. All right, that's so beautiful. They're so adorable. Okay, I do have one Going17 photo card because my sister had two of these, so she sent me one. And then moving forward to non-Korean album photo cards, we have some Japanese photo cards to put away. So I have these photo cards. We have 24 hours. This is the C version. I pulled Uzi. And then the four limited versions of Hitori Janai. These are my pools. Okay, that is it. And then here comes the bulk of this video. Incomplete trading card sets. So I did try to organize these as best I could um, per the type of photo card. Um, so whether it was a selfie or depending on what outfits they were wearing. Um, I do not plan on getting collecting all of them. I'm just keeping... The ones that I pulled that were not dupes and then obviously getting all of Escoops's and I did decide to keep Escoops's over here um, just because it made the layouts work much better and it just made sense for the time being. Eventually I might split it up and have these be in his own binder but for now they're going to live here. So the first set is this one.
actually pulled quite a few from this set, which I very much appreciate because this is my favorite set. And my sister pulled this Proudy Scoops, which made me so happy because she pulled a dupe of him. Um, she pulled him twice, so that was just perfect. <laughs> and I love this June photo card so much. Next page, I'm going to do the other selfie set. I love this photo card of Ming Hao so much, so I'm very happy that I ended up in the middle. Then we are moving on to the special Polaroid cards, and then these two group cards are actually special cards as well. Okay, that's very nice. Next, I have these. There's always cat hair everywhere, no matter how hard I try to get rid of it. Anyway, last page. I have these photo cards. And last but not least, um, these next two pages are just going to be for the ID set because I did buy the hoodie from the Incomplete merch. So I have the full set here and I made little fillers for them because like I said, I don't like seeing the white space around them. So I just have name, date of birth, um, what unit they're part of. And then just to be funny, I made... I added a line for their code name in the Mouse Busters Going 17 episode. So everybody has their code name from that episode and then 96 line just has Mouse 1, 2, 3, and 4. I think they only mentioned a name for June and Woozy. So it felt a little weird to just have two of them have a name and then the other two have just Mouse number whatever. <laughs> so I just made all four of them Mouse number something. Um, and then. The serial code here is their debut date and then their position at the end, at the bottom. So yeah, I'm just going to be putting these away. Okay, that is it. That is a full set. And that is it for this video. Okay, that is all I had to put away that I have been accumulating for the past couple of weeks. Um, I'm going to mention this because I did show this thing at the beginning and I do have all the photo cards that I need to sell in here. Um, these are all the ones I need to sell. They're, these are all incomplete merch trading cards um and then i have some twice photo cards and then some random 
17 album, green album photo cards. Um, these are pre-order benefits. And then I have some Monsta X photo cards. So um, I do have a an eBay account that I think I'm going to be doing all of my selling through there for now. Um, if that changes, then it does. <laughs> um, but for now, I think I'm just going to be setting these up on eBay and selling them. So by the time this video comes out, I may have some posted um, or not. Hopefully I do. Hopefully I have a few posted. Um, but yeah, I'll put um, my username in the description or somewhere um, in case anybody is interested. I just wanted to mention that since I did um, show a little stack of photo cards that I need to sell for the first time. But yeah, with that being said, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.